Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got a thick sketchbook tool to show you guys. I've got lots of stuff in here that I'm excited to show you. So let's just dive right into it. It's a super thick sketchbook and actually this is the fastest I've ever completed a sketchbook of this size, I guess, because I did do a sketchbook in a day, but that was kind of just 10 pages long, whereas this is about 260 pages, although I haven't done on back of the pages just because I use a lot of mixed media, so it showed through, so they're all just one side, but still a pretty hefty amount, I would say, considering I finished this in within two months. Stickers on the front are by Joyce San, Dina Norland, and yeah, just random stickers otherwise. So let's dive into this. First page, I haven't done anything because I felt like it was just like a cover kind of page, so yeah. This is the first page and you can see that it is from a video that I did recently called Roasting My Art where I just started a new sketchbook and I like certain aspects about this page and some things I don't like. First of all I wanted to test out how watercolours would work with this paper and actually it is kind of blotchy in a sense that it kind of blurs the watercolours but I do like the way that it comes out and I really like the texture that this paper gives. If you guys are interested in this sketchbook, it's called Flexi Sketch, and it's by the brand. Well, I think it's Global Art Materials is the brand. So yeah, there's all the information if you need it anyway. Because this sketchbook is quite nice. I like the way I like the shape of it, and I like that it lies flat on most pages. Some pages not so much. It does show through the page, which is kind of annoying because that means you can only use half of the sketchbook technically. Yeah, I think overall this sketchbook is pretty nice to use and I'm pretty pleased with it. So I started out by doodling some random images. Um, you'll see this technique a lot in my sketch, in this sketchbook where I watercolor and do like negative shape painting where you do like a light color and then you go darker and then darker and darker and darker until you have like tiny dark spaces. Um, <laughs> did that make any sense? Probably not. Just doing some more pattern work. I really like this page. They're like weird alien eggs slash pebble things. I was just having fun with experimenting here. I do not like this page. Uh, I was just experimenting again. I was thinking about how I could make washi tape layer and I was gonna work on this more and do more patterns, but I think I just was like, no, don't like it. I'm gonna stop. This was kind of an inspiration for my mermaid video where I drew mermaids inspired by the Met Gala. I think this was uh, Florence from Florence the Machine and what she was wearing. This is a sketch of a mermaid inspired by the Met Gala as well. I think I went on to use this kind of look um, on the mermaid within the piece, so that's quite fun. These are thumbnails for that piece. Obviously, because I am an art YouTuber, a lot of sketches and stuff that are in this sketchbook might be stuff you've already seen but you get like a kind of behind the scenes kind of glimpse of this stuff right so maybe it's interesting I don't know but most of it is actually stuff I've just done in my spare time again another thumbnail I realized that I needed to do it landscape so I did a quick sketch of what I wanted that to be some rough sketches of hands I think I wanted to get into studying anatomy a little bit more again and I use sometimes I use like hand drawing as warm-ups and you'll see that there are a lot of hands in the sketchbook I saw this image on Pinterest maybe you can see it as well if you type in hand poses so this is just like completely referenced off that but just you know a study kind of thing I read The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and I just wanted to do like a little illustration from that and I quite like the way this turned out but I wish I hadn't used pencils if that makes sense and just used watercolour or something. Just sketching my sister, rough sketches. I think you'll see in this sketchbook there are a lot of like rough sketches but also like completed pages. I know a lot of people complain like well sketchbooks are just for you know doodling stuff but I like to use my sketchbooks for both probably doesn't make sense to people because it's a sketchbook but uh, whatever. This was the start of my IKEA haul so if you've seen that video where I bought IKEA supplies it was really strange I bought those supplies and I got reinvigorated to just like keep going and do like different stuff and experiment so I just started getting really into that. I used that roller a lot and that really inspired me and then the pencils a lot so yeah I was just getting really inspired and using washi tape to like segregate things. This is probably like one of my favorite pages. I just googled like washing lines and then I painted a load of different washing lines that I liked. So I used 
poster paints, pencils, and then like white ink on top of a lot of these. And I really like the way that they turned out. I really like using a lot of mixed media, as you will see. Again, this page is quite cool. I really like the way these hands came out. They kind of look, have like a printed effect, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? When they do like um, Riso printing. So that's what I quite like, even though it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. So I really like that effect. And obviously I don't have a Riso printer. So if I can do it myself manually, that's cool. I got really into this idea of doing sets of images of particular things. So before I did like the washing lines and then I wanted to do like oil tankers because I just think where I live, I see a lot of oil tankers and I thought it'd be cool to just take inspiration from real life. Again, just trying out the different layers of colors using the roller and then using white ink on top, just experimenting, having fun. This is a marketplace in Marrakesh and I thought I just wanted to try out drawing them and try a bit of mood lighting. I do like this piece but I think there's some things that I don't like so much but I think that's always useful when you have something that you like but you can see where you can improve them and then that is really handy because you've learned something then. This was a sort of inspiration page. I wanted to do a new horror comic and I was thinking of doing something about a motel and kind of like a demon bellboy. And it says here, the bellboy doesn't take your bags. And I was gonna say, like finish the sentence, like he takes your limbs. It's a little on the nose, so I kind of steered away from <laughs> writing that. So I got into the idea of basing a story off a motel or a story about a person away from home and I think that can always be a scary time for people who are like traveling or moving or changing their life. Anyway, I just I just, just started to find inspiration so I painted this sort of motel on the road kind of thing in America and I really like the way that this turned out. I think this is probably one of my favorite pieces of this sketchbook. I like the way that this mountain looks because I did the roller and then I like took a tissue over it and like dabbed it and it came out with this effect and I really like the way that that looks because it just, I don't know, it just looks really nice and I really like the kind of rendering on the window and this pinkness. Yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? I really like that piece. Here I'm just using more poster paints and experimental um, design, I guess. I drew this woman and I really like the way that it turned out, so I wanted to draw more like a beach scene and I just think this is really cool as well. Drawing some more buildings and scenes, not really sure about this piece, but I do kind of like it. I think as I was working on it, I kept thinking like, I'll add more stuff to it. I'll just add this and I'll just add this and it will it will become suddenly better somehow. And it, <laughs> I think it just, you know, when you can't stop and you keep going, you think, yeah, it will work, it will work. And it just, um, I mean, it's a nice, it's okay. It's just not the, my favorite thing. This was a super quick painting and sketch I did of my living room. Me and Chris were just sitting and watching TV, which is over here. Pesto was sitting here and just had dinner and we're just chilling and this is our balcony out here. So here's a little um, show show of my, my room. And I, even though this is completely rough and it's kind of a weird style, I do like it. It has something about it that I quite like. Here are some silhouettes of Gigi because um, Gigi is my big fluffy cat, in case you guys haven't met him, he is ginormous. Half of it is fluff, half of it is just being a large cat, but yeah, these are some silhouettes of him. Doing some more motel studies, I really like the way that the texture came out in this piece. You can't really see it maybe on the camera, but paint is quite thick, so I just scraped away some of it to create some sort of uh, dynamic lines within the clouds. Don't really like the way the pencil looks here. Wish I had used a black pen or something for cleaner line, but you know. Now we know. Uh, also, I think I messed up here, so I stuck some paper down to like try and hide the mistake, <laughs> which kind of weirdly worked quite well. So there we go. Ah, this is just another really rough piece. I was getting really inspired to do just layering of paint and I don't know, some clouds, and this is a volcano and people are watching it explode. Again, there's something not quite right about this piece, but I quite like it. It's quite quirky and weird. This was a comic I did, I posted it on Twitter about Chris finding some tin foil and you know, like in the fridge and it turned out to be an onion. So that was pretty funny because he was really excited when he saw it and I was there to witness it. This is Chris lying in, um, we have one of those like round chairs, you guys probably know what I mean. <laughs> it's like a basket chair and then a cushion in the middle, he was just sitting there so I drew him. 
I like the way that the other beachy, I like the way that this turned out. So I was trying to kind of replicate that a little bit and draw people at the beach, but using like the background patterns as their bikinis and stuff. I prefer this one. I just think it's cool, like the way that her swimming costume is the water. But yeah, it's not too bad. Strange colors, very bright colors, I think. This isn't supposed to be based off Gigi, but it kind of just looks like Gigi, but pink. So I did that thing where you do blobs of color and then you just try to draw over it. It's kind of like a warm up exercise. And yeah, I really like the way these turned out. Actually, I think there's a lot of character in them. I tried to do it again, the blob challenge, and completely just didn't, I don't think created anything cool, except I kind of like this. It's kind of like a, a lady in a pod floating in space. Um, I did like a art portal here. <laughs> so there's an ant popping out and then I drew Dina's character like peeking through, but it's really super not clear. So I don't know what that was about. That whole page is like, why? Why do you spend time? I'm really enjoying a show called Love Island. I've mentioned this before on my channel. It's completely like a trashy show, reality TV. -y. So it's just, it's bad, but I enjoy it. So I was just drawing some doodles of like certain things people said on that episode that was quite funny. And yeah, um, you can pause it here if you want to read those. This was a night scene of London. I do like the way this turned out. Uh, this is the point where I was getting really into textures again and just, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that I've scraped away paint and stuff. I just think it looks kind of cool and I really like expressing myself in that way. It's kind of borderline abstract impressionism, but I don't know if I'd go that far to call it that, but yeah, it's just a study really. This is a drawing of Chris again because Chris is my fiance, that sounds weird to say, and yeah, we, we hang out a lot. So when I'm looking around at things to draw, I, uh, I draw him. This was some research for, well, I wanted to draw those game cartridges and I wanted to try out the Molotow pens. So I tried those out and I wanted to do like game cartridges and it's something I wanted to continue to make. Um, I've already discussed this in that video, but then I practiced drawing the bathhouse simulator that you guys have all seen. So this is like another version of that. Oh yeah, you actually see Sen, the Sen character walking towards the bathhouse. Yeah, I like the way this piece turns out, but I think I like the other one with the Molotow pens better. I wanted to do that kind of 3D um, isometric rooms and I thought it would be fun to do it with my dream, my dream study or art room, may we say. I didn't really like the way this piece turned out. I think I'll try it again, but with the Molotow pens because that would be really good for layering. I think with this, I used watercolors and I kept like going over stuff that I didn't really mean to. So it kind of looked a little bit muddier than, than I wanted it to. This is the page for the Molotow pens, like testing them out and um, swatching them. I spelt turquoise wrong, everyone keeps telling me. I don't care. <laughs> These were some sketches for the bath house simulator, like some rough sketches, just doodling, just trying to get like an idea of what I wanted to draw before I filmed it. Because I think if I go to something without doing like preliminary research, then it doesn't work for me. It just it will go, it just doesn't work. So I need to always do little sketches or thumbnailing or something. This is Judith the Harpy. This is Joy San's original character. She sent me, cause I'm a patron of hers, she sent me the doodle of her to color in. She told me to color it in. So I colored it in and then I sort of did my own little version with the Molotow pens over here. Obviously it's not as cool as that cause her drawing is awesome. I really like her line quality. Preliminary work for the free foods from drawings from books basically another video on my channel and Different ways that I thought about drawing the unicorn blood I do like this kind of aspect of it, but I really like the way that I drew the unicorn blood anyway in the video So, you know small preliminary work of just sketches thumbnails this is actually an image on the website about Unicorn Blood. So on the Harry Potter wiki, somebody drew this. So I just copied that for like inspiration, but I never intended to kind of just copy someone's images as mine. It's just uh, some research kind of thing. This is Kubo. He's my Siamese cat. And yeah, I just experimented with colors here. And I do actually like the way this came out. It's got a lot of energy to it. Yeah, I like it. Some sketches of Tingle. I don't know if you can really see that very well. Um, nothing much to say about that, except I don't like it. Here I was using a Molotow pen and I drew Girl with a Pearl Earring just using the green Molotow and I thought that was really cool. So I think 
I wanted to do more of that. I do Michelangelo's David and yeah, so it's kind of cool and I think I picked this up again further on. This is Dina's original character and I drew him because um, she had this thing on where um, people were drawing her characters for her one year anniversary so I just, whenever I do a Draw This In Your Style I just note it down here whose image it is and what. So this is Draw Dina's Drawing In Your Style and Dinaversary 1. Um, if you guys don't know Dina Norland, she's an artist on YouTube and she's amazing, she's my friend. Um, yeah, here I got inspired by what I did here with Girl Over Pearl Earring, so I wanted to push that a little bit. But I did Mona Lisa, American Gothic, Van Gogh Self Portrait and Whistler's Mother. And yeah, I really like the way Mona Lisa turned out. I really wanted to make it more cartoonish than I did and then some of them I got a little bit, not realistic, but more realistic than I wanted them to look because I just wanted it to be quite a funny image if that makes sense. I wanted to research drawing some horses because it was Junicorn, what's it called? When you draw unicorns all June. And yeah, I can't draw horses very well, I think. Um, so that's why I was trying to draw them a little bit better. He's a sexy horse, he's winking at you, he's saying, hey baby, yeah. Then I wanted to draw Pesto, my other cat. So I have three cats in total, guys. That's the last one, I promise. Um, she is a ginger cat and she owns this channel. If you're new to this channel, she is the queen of the channel and Yep, this is her channel basically. And yeah, I was just doodling her. I really like the way that this came out. Um, tried to draw some tigers. Less said about that, the better. This is a image of a girl that I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was just like a sweet picture. So I wanted to kind of paint it and use soft shadows and use the blue as shadow and stuff. I do, I do like the way that this, this looks. Um, it's kind of an intriguing image, I would say, if that makes sense, like the line quality. This was fun, I think this is just watercolours, just a vase with flowers in it. I like to draw a lot of nature and humans and I think just like mostly organic things is what I draw so I've got to watch out for that because if I ever need to do something where I'm drawing a machinery or anything like that it's kind of difficult for me so I need to study that more. I think that's what I'm going to aim to do in my next um, sketchbook. This is a, just another lady. I wanted to study drawing some wolves and I really need to buckle down drawing animals again because I think I've just not done that in a long time again with like machinery and stuff so I do like the way some of them turned out but some things I knew when I was drawing this I was like oh I'm getting a bit stuck here which is kind of frustrating. I think this is a street in Paris again I used poster paints and watercolours and pencils not really much else to say I think a lot of pieces in this sketchbook don't really I don't really have much to say about them because they're just quick studies for me and things that I want to draw or things that I think will be interesting to look at if that makes sense this is another draw this in your style this is by Moon Vika I don't know how to say that Zvet at the end um, this is her character and I really enjoyed drawing that Draw This In Your Style is kind of a really good way to just warm up, I think, as well. If you're stuck on what to draw, you can just draw their characters or their composition and you don't really have to think much. You can just enjoy the process of it, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. Some more faces. I wanted to just doodle some faces, I guess, here. Lots of hand research. Again, like I said, you'll see a lot of from here on out. And there's lots of just quick rough sketches of hands because it helps me focus, it helps me warm up and I think hand, hands are quite hard to draw so the more that I can practice them the better. This was kind of a doodle that I half made up, half I saw this outfit where it was just like a see-through dress with styles all over it over somebody wearing them and I just thought it was cool so I wanted to draw that. This is quite a fun piece, it's quite illustrative in its style, basic like composition and flat and I really like that style so I tried it out and I was using like negative spaces you can see a little tiger in there and just plants and stuff yeah I think this piece is cool so I took that and I drew a load of cats because I love cats as we have established multiple times during this sketchbook tour but yeah I just like cats and I think I drew a lot of cats that I'm that I have in my life or I'm aware of <laughs> so cat overload which I am not mad about. Here is some sketches. Um, I sometimes take my sketchbook with me when I go to work, so at lunchtime I can just sketch. And this is some doodles of people in the cafe. Like you never know what you're going to find if you draw from real life. It helps you take that away and input it into your work elsewhere. This person wasn't wearing a saucepan, by the way. Just my friend was like, "Oh, that hat looks like that person's wearing a saucepan," so I made it into a saucepan. Cause that's 
creative. We were waiting in a border queue, so basically I live in Gibraltar and there's a border queue into Spain so we were waiting in the border queue and it was just people watching again and drawing different people that I saw kind of making them up because they're walking by so fast you get a little bit of inspiration you try to remember what they look like and then just keep drawing them I drew some cars because again like machinery or transport something that I need to try to get better at drawing here's a van I, I think I just did them really quickly so they took this one took five minutes five and this one took five minutes and one minute, two minutes. So I was just trying to like get used to seeing things and trying to draw them really quickly or make an impression of them. There was this fire over the coast from us next to a power plant and I just saw this image online and I thought I just wanted to make a drawing about it because it was something interesting. And when I look back on my sketchbook, I always find it quite cool to know where I was at certain times of the sketchbook. Yeah, wanted to draw that. So this is another Draw This In Your Style. This one is by Kimelis. Kimelis? Kimelis. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say people's names very well. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out. It's just watercolours, pencils, pen. I think this is Molotow pen as well. So it's just a mixed media, like, piece. Whatever I have to hand, I try to create things from. At lunchtime I went, you know, I took the sketchbook to work again and at lunchtime I went down, there's this area near my work where you can see all the boats so I was just drawing some some boats quickly and this is like a really stunted super yacht, <laughs> so that's quite funny. I saw some friends of mine went to Denmark and they saw the little mermaid statue there so I kind of just sketched her out a little bit and yeah, I was like, oh what if she just, you know, there's like a statue of her so I was like, oh what if she just comes to life and just a doodly page I guess and then I was like, I want to draw some waves and that just looks like just a mess of pencil and paint but I promise you there was some thought process behind there but yeah, not a huge fan of this, I kind of like kind of looks pleasing to the eye and it was fun to do but it's not really clear what it is it just looks like a whole load of mess of pencil mixed media tried to draw hands again but in an interesting way and it just doesn't look very pleasing like the browns or the paint and stuff doesn't look very nice so just move on from that uh you can see here, I really completed this page. Yeah, this was, I think we were having dinner and I was just drawing plants, I was waiting for food. So when the food came, I was like, okay, we're done here. And I just forgot to paint those more. Again, like the negative uh, watercolor painting technique, but with kind of feathers or leaves here. And yeah, I like this. I just like doing this with watercolor. It's just really satisfying. And I like the way it slowly comes together as you paint it. And it's quite a relaxing thing to do. This was using the Molotow pens and also the Amsterdam paint pen that I found in Seville. So I just wanted to be able to paint more um, backgrounds with them and just kind of do this style a bit better. This one I don't really like very much but there's ones as I keep going that I kind of like more. This was another one, I like the way the clouds turned out but I don't really like the lower half of this image. Yeah. Um, this is another negative space watercolor painting technique and I do like this one, it's kind of more pebbles. I wanted to make it less abstracty and it, as if you could see these pebbles on a beach or something. I don't know, it's just fun to do. I drew this girl and I did not like the way she turned out so I just added loads of gold to her. And yeah, still not a huge fan but I love gold. I really like this image. I don't know why, it's just so weird. I used pencils and pen and that's it, I think. But yeah, you can see she's just like a little face here and she's crying out this like abstract planets or something. I don't really know what it is. I just enjoyed doing it. This is sort of a picture of trees and it's very abstract, but I do, I do like the way that it looks. When I went to my parents, they have these trees like this in their back garden and one of the branches fell and I was like, but what if it falls, like completely falls down and like hits my dad in the head or something. And I just, instead of thinking, overthinking that and having anxiety about it, I was like, I'm just gonna draw it. And then it, the thought is gone. Like, if that makes sense, just like process that weird thought of like, what if a tree hits my dad? It's like, come on. This is using the Molotow paints again and pencils. So this girl is kind of like swimming down, but also crying. There's a lot of themes of women crying lately. So I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, I just thought it was cool. <laughs> 
when we went to Seville we saw fields of just sunflowers going on and on and I just thought like it would be cool to have kind of a creepy image of all these sunflowers going on and just somebody with their back to them and they're like barely noticeable and that's an idea I want to revisit because I don't really think that this turned out that way it kind of just looks like me with a green arm standing in a field of sunflowers so there you go this was a leaflet for just a water park and I saw this girl on it with her friend they're like on the the ride so I just wanted to try drawing it because I thought it was a cool image to try because of like the perspective and stuff I don't know how successful it is but yeah it was fun there's also like a weird little dinosaur on that image so I drew him as well can't leave dino out here we get into doing some studies of just different bodies and like awkward positions that I wouldn't necessarily draw so I'm just studying stuff basically here for the next few pages just studying faces and things I draw a lot of women and that's something that I need to combat because, well, everyone, I think everyone always has certain things that they like to draw, like artists do. So I don't know why I'm giving myself a hard time because I think a lot of people do just tend to draw what they like drawing, but yeah. I feel like I want to get good at drawing everything because if I want to do comics, which is something that I'm passionate about, then I need to learn how to draw a variant amount of things, if that makes sense. These are some Molotov, there's an ant here. <sighs> how dare you? <sighs> um. Some Molotov just night scenes. I got a bit addicted to doing this because I think it was just fun for me to do. So you'll see a lot more of those. And here, like basically drawing the same thing again, just because I like the way that these turned out. So it didn't make much sense. So, but I do really like these ones. I really like, I really like this one. So what I did here is a mixture of pencil and Molotov pens. And I think that was just something that like hit the sweet spot, <laughs> sweet art spot. Sorry, that was weird. This is a painting I really like. As I was doing it, I was thinking like, I don't like this at all, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. And then as I finished it, I was like, I like this. <laughs> and it, as you can see, it's just got loads of weird texture as well. So you use the poster paints and watercolors on top and then pencil and loads of different stuff. And I was just like trying to create texture and inadvertently it kind of looks a little bit Van Gogh-y or that kind of Van Gogh-y style, which wasn't my intention, but hey, I'm not gonna argue it. You know, I really like the way the clouds turned out as well, like they're just lumps of something in the sky. This is a quick doodle of kind of a scary house that I saw. Um, yeah, so I just used pencil and watercolours here. I wanted to study doing stairwells or images like that, so what I did, I think this was on my lunch break at work as well, so I did some stairwell research and I looked up like images of stairwells with creepy dark shadows in them so I could do like negative shadowy space and yeah I like the way these turned out they were quite fun to do as well interesting again this was on my way home so just people walking home on the street I we stopped in traffic and I just saw them I kind of looked at them and then they were stood there waiting in a light and then everyone was gone so most of this is made up but inspiration taken from real life this is a picture I went back to kind of doing that motel vision that I had for that comic so I thought what I would do is draw another motel and I really like the way that these these um, plants turned out I think they're just really an impression of something there is quite visually interesting and just the road here I thought it was quite cool I'm I enjoy this as you can see like I said I have fuller pieces and then I just have like pages of just sketches where I've just done whatever I drew this girl and I really like the way she looks so I tried to replicate it again but I think just the sketch has something better about it I don't know what it is I think just the shape of her was cooler on that one but I don't really mind this piece so much it's kind of interesting and I tried to draw some life drawing of men because I never draw men and these are just really quick sketches where I look at an image and I just try to jot down like the movement or the shape or just the implication of the pose. So then I decided to just try and focus on drawing men's faces because I do not draw men, which is really bad. Like I said, I need to improve on that. So and then Chris was like, draw me. So there we go. That's Chris being drawn. This is a tree house. Not much more to say about that, except I do really like the way this turned out. I was looking at a Studio Ghibli art of book and I got really inspired by kind of the line quality that they use. So I was 
kind of trying to implement that in this piece, not successfully so, but more in my style, like taking something I like and trying to use it how I would use it, not trying to copy that, if that makes sense. Um, if you guys have been around a while, you'd know that I draw like these derpy sharks and I tried to draw them again, but they just didn't have the element that I had before or like the fun, so yeah, I tried to draw them and I was like, yeah, I kind of like them. I like the way the line looks on, on top of watercolour. This is like a Muji pen, which is not waterproof. So what I've done here is I've drawn it and then like doodled with the Muji pen on top. So I tried to do that with some derpy tigers and I think I successfully made them look a little bit derpy but I enjoyed this process as well and even though the image isn't super accurate, I don't think accuracy is what I was going for, it was just an impression of a tiger and getting their like mood and feel and yeah, just designing maybe something different and interesting to look at. This is a picture of a cat that my fiance saw on a walk and he took a picture of and I just thought the face of this cat was so funny that I had to draw him. And he demands strokes, apparently he was super friendly. I don't know what I did with this page but it, it's out. It's out and it's gone. Okay, here are some really rough hands. I think what I do to warm up is just draw hands as quickly as I can and then put some colour down next to them to just give an impression of certain forms within the hand and yeah this is a great warm-up I've done this for a couple of pages and I think it actually looks quite interesting to look at afterwards you can see some hands are more successful than others like this one looks kind of cool and maybe maybe that one not so much but yeah I drew this image of this girl sort of with like a shield on her back as if she's going off on an adventure but she's sort of a modern day, well not modern day but like kind of 80s style girl in the woods. And then I drew these like blob things looking at her and I don't know if you can see that very well but I do really like this piece but I think what I want to do is do it on a bigger piece of paper like separately so and like just do it better because this is quite rough but I do like the way it turned out and I do like the concept of it like the goosties looking at her. I drew some whales because I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to draw like derpy whales, but then they came out like looking not that derpy except for this guy who's like, just dance. And I do, again, like the Muji pen on top of the watercolor. It looks quite interesting. So that's something I'm gonna revisit doing. These are some characters that I have made before in the channel, they're called the Slime Girls and I was just trying to jot down like an idea I had where they're gonna fight something and they're looking at this thing that is just like floating in the sky, just some like evil creature, woman, and I thought like I could make this like a comic page maybe just to start like, getting ideas for these characters because they're my original characters that I created from slime. I got inspired by slime and that was just a fun idea for a video. And then it developed into actually I quite like these characters and the story. <laughs> so I wanted to do something with that and this is just a quick like jot down of an idea. I wanted to do a cover for like a mock book called The Slime Girls and obviously I wanted to try and replicate this style of when I do that inverted colours like this but maybe with slime but I think it wasn't turning out how I wanted so I just kind of gave up on it but I do again quite find it interesting to look at. Some more rough hands, not much to say about them. This piece, oh. No, I thought I wanted I wanted to do like a ghostly woman woman kind of disappearing and yeah She just doesn't look like a ghost. It just looks like a drawing of a woman Here are some quick rough sketches of a house as we're nearing the end I think stuff does get a little bit rougher because I'm just kind of caring less This is kind of my original character from my book Cora I think I think it's her anyway I don't really know what this image is, but she's kind of using her powers and is like whoa this is happening and if you've read the book you know what I'm talking about or I've probably spoken about this character before so maybe you know maybe you don't it's not really that crazy because it's not really like an interesting image it's just a doodle of an idea I had I have no idea what this junk page is so we're skipping that one I wanted to do that pattern again but with pears and I think it just needs like another darker layer on this one to make it more interesting and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna revisit this and do some more like te textures with pencils. So if you see that on my Instagram, you'll know if it's turned out well better than that. Ah, I missed this page, great. Oh, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, another scene with 
um, Molotov pens and Posca pens, mixing them together. This was quite fun to do. Just some paint pens using them in general. And I think this is the last image. Again, just experimenting with using Posca pens and paint pens. So yeah, not a huge fan of like the last few things that happen in this book, but Again, a sketchbook doesn't need to be perfect, but I think there's a lot of pieces in here that I really like, and there's a lot of pieces that I'm like, yeah, you know what, it's a sketchbook, you've got to jot down your ideas. I think all in all, it's quite a successful sketchbook, and I can't believe that I completed this in this time. I think I've just really got my, my energy back for drawing, because there's been a long time of me just not drawing anything, because I had started a new job so I just didn't have enough energy now I've just really gotten back into the routine of just drawing after work every day or taking my sketchbook with me to work and it's just really worked out I think and I really like the way a lot of these images are and I've got inspiration to start just keep going really and stuff for YouTube so yeah guys we're on the the up and I'm inspired and we're yeah we're good to keep going so let me know what you think if you like this sketchbook please let me know if you didn't like it. Please refrain from uh, commenting because <laughs> I've got a fragile heart. Um, yeah, okay, so also I'd just like to say that we're nearing 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy, but thank you if you're new here and thank you if you've been here for a while. Um, it's really awesome of you. So see you next time, guys. Thanks, bye.